Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Aljun May again. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about the cost of living here in Anchorage, Alaska. So I just uh, realized that it would be a good video if I could give you a little bit of idea about um, our cost of living here because I think there are people that are googling about it so might as well give it to you guys since I live here and I have a really good idea of what it costs to live here in Anchorage. We'll just give you also a, an estimated amount because it varies. So without further ado, let's go start with this video. For house, if you're thinking about moving here for the very first time, I would suggest um, renting first and kind of have like a feel if you're gonna like Alaska or not. I've researched about this. I went to Craigslist and a lot of um, rental website. You can get a decent apartment for a thousand dollars per month. So I would say like the average would be like a thousand to two thousand and then a lot of those rentals cover the utilities we used to rent right now we already own a home a house but when we used to rent i know that we only had to pay for our water and all of our electricity our gas was already paid for which is nice because it's when it's winter time then I can set my heater to 90 because I'm always cold but now that we own a house I've been very conscious about that heat consumption because it's expensive it gets expensive the next one is the gas for the house or heat right now I'm averaging $120 a month and that's because I have a budget billing that means that we have this agreement with gas company that they will take out like certain amount of money like for me right now they take out 120 so I pay 120 even if it's summertime and we're not using our gas so that way the extra that I have been paying on summertime I can use it for the winter time when we consume a lot of gas when our heat is up up to like around 70 we keep our heat up to 70 because my kids are always cold and yeah that's the cost it's 120 dollars next one is the electricity for electricity it is the same as our gas which is 120 per month average and it's also it also depends on winter time it's kind of higher it would probably sometimes I think the highest bill I have seen so far was 140 because my husband plugs in his car we have a three-car garage but we don't really use our garage because he uses it as his man cave so we plug in our car and also if you have if you decide to decorate on Christmas season then that would probably higher we don't use that we don't have christmas lights we don't put up christmas lights on halloween or christmas just because i don't know why but probably next year so i don't know the additional amount if we had like christmas lights next one is the water every month it's kind of like the same it never goes up or down if there if it ever changes then it would just be tiny amount so usually it is like around a hundred dollars and then trash our trash gets picked up every monday for us in our neighborhood i pay sixty dollars every three months for that but of course it is depending on the size of the can that you have for your household we have the biggest size right now and then the next one is cable we don't have cable anymore because the kids basically just watch Netflix all the time and we also have a Roku and we have YouTube so there's really no need for that so the only expenses that is related to cable is our subscription to Netflix um, Amazon Prime 
yeah, just just two. So I'd say twenty dollars a month for cable or television. We don't we don't have any cable anymore. And of course the internet. We won't have Netflix or YouTube or Amazon Prime if we don't have internet. So right now I have a unlimited service from our internet provider and I pay around $100 a month for that. I would say that it's not the fastest but it works for us. My kids finally have realized that they just have the patient when our internet is kind of slow. And then the very next thing is gas for the car. This one, it depends. It depends on the car that you drive. If you're driving a truck, I know it is more expensive, but I am driving a sedan, a small car. I don't know if it's pronounced a sedan. I spend around $120 a month for gas. Last but not the least is for groceries. A lot of people are thinking that probably it is very expensive to buy food here in Alaska. Well, that's true, but you just have to be very creative. We are a family of five to sometimes six when uh, my stepkids are here. For the most part, there's five of us. I have two teenagers and we eat all the time. We have a budget of $200 a week, which is around $800 a month. And if there's like five weeks, then it's $1,000 a month. And we shop at the commissary and at Costco. My kids don't like eating out, so I don't worry about eating out a lot because I like cooking for them and I plan our dinners throughout the week so that helped us a lot so whenever we go to the commissary or Costco we already know what will be our dinner for that week so we stick into our budget and one more thing here in Anchorage we don't pay sales tax I didn't know you know that sales tax was such a thing until or we went on a vacation um, to Florida and California so I would say if the price at the store says oh this is four dollars for um, a gallon of milk then it's only four dollars there's not gonna be like additional cost on top of it because we don't have to do sales tax and I really hope that you find this video informative if you have other questions or um, you have any other comments, just feel free to comment down below and I will try my best to get to your comments and read them and respond and provide the best possible answer there is. So yeah, once again, thank you so much. And if you're newer to my channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and I will appreciate it so 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 once again, thank you and have a great day. Bye!